Oh, I'm going to get it now. Every time I even mention global warming, I get more negative comments than wow. That's right, your five or six viewers are just flooding you with comments. Any other issue. So here goes. Don't care, it's coming again. Republicans, I need you to kick some environmentalist ass. Sounds awfully gay to me. Democrats can't do it because they're paid for by environmentalists. Environmentalists have money? Since when? But hear me, okay? This is not about the science of global warming. Okay, so you have gone from environmentalist to global warming. So which is it? We have environmentalists, which nobody out there in the United States pays any attention to. Not the Democrat Party, not the Republican Party, not independents. They are completely ignored. And then you have human-caused climate change, which every single science organization on the fucking planet that has said anything about the subject all agree. Has happened, is happening, and humans are responsible. You're changing the subject. Why? This is about so-called solutions that the progressives are suggesting in the Democrats. Democrats are progressive? Um, since when? And I want you to understand exactly how far they would go. There's a new book out that I'm reading about halfway through. Uh, it's a pretty big book, so you're probably not going to read it, although it is a good read. It's by a female named Naomi Klein. A female. Presumably a human female. Not a woman. Not a investigative journalist. A female. Could be a mare for all we know. She's written a book. The title of it is This Changes Everything, Capitalism Versus the Climate. She blames global warming entirely on free market capitalism. And so does, incidentally, coincidentally, all of the world's experts on the subject, tens of thousands of scientists, do that also. I wonder if they're all mares. Maybe they're all females. So the solution is, and we just got to face up to it, you got to destroy capitalism. Uh, no. If you actually would read the book and just instead of saying that you're reading it, you'll find out. Capitalism is what has caused and is causing the terrible problem, human-caused climate change, which is already costing humanity almost one trillion dollars in production of human-produced wealth. Almost a trillion dollars. And two, she says the solution is capitalism. She did not say we have to destroy capitalism. She said we have to change capitalism and make capitalism the solution to the problem it has caused. This is right up front in the beginning of the book. All throughout the book, change how capitalism prioritizes itself. Use the free market to solve the problem that it created, not destroy capitalism. You know what would happen if we destroyed capitalism? Things would get a bloody hell of a lot worse. A fact she pointed out in her book. Now let me tell you something. It's one thing to just come in and steal my life. Huh? Yeah, um, if somebody does that, call the fucking cops, huh? Over bogus solution ideas. It's entirely another thing to change and to disrupt an entire economy in a country great like America. 
first off, nobody out there is wanting to destroy the economy of America. Nobody has suggested that. Nobody wants to do that. Second off, America is not great. You look at other similar countries and their standard of living and their economies and their levels of violence and their equality and their happiness. America is real close to the bottom of the list. America great? No, you need to get out more. It's, it's just terrible. And it's time for somebody, and Republicans, it should be you, to stand up and say, no more. You need to start with the EPA. I mean, the hypocrisy of this, like even Obama and what he did with the coal industry. I mean, he just, man, sucker punched it. But huh? Obama not only has increased the subsidies for digging up coal, he said we need to dig up more of it. That's a sucker punch? You know why the sale of coal has decreased uh, slightly in the United States? Fracking. Not Obama. He didn't do that. Natural gas did. As soon as the natural gas goes, coal digging up and burning will proceed as planned. Nobody's trying to stop that in the United States government. If anything, Obama loves burning coal. Which is probably why he will be shoveling coal in hell for eternity. Yet, still allows them to sell coal overseas. Yes, because Obama is pro-coal. You know why it is coal being sold overseas, not natural gas? Try shoveling natural gas. Then try shoveling coal. See how, which one is a hell of a lot easier. So it kind of killed them here. What is that? Either coal is bad or it's not. Uh, coal is bad. The problem is the United States government doesn't give a shit. That is the problem. Ms. Klein's solution is to use the free market to phase out coal, turn to alternative energy sources, which will be a massive boon to the economy, which by the way it already is, and already has been, and will be. Use the free market. Everybody makes a bloody hell of a lot of money using capitalism to solve the problem. How about reading the fucking book? Quote, There are ways of preventing this grim future, or at least making it a lot less dire. But the catch is that there, these also involve changing everything. For us high consumers, it involves changing how we live, how our econo economies function, even the stories we tell about our place on Earth. She then explains why the free market is the single greatest solution when we apply new technologies, new ideas, new innovations, and other solutions to fix the fucking problem. Capitalism is the solution because it is also the problem. If you actually read the fucking book, you would know this. But you see, it's all full of hypocrisy. It is all the same old, same old. And my friends, that's clearly what socialism is about. And she's promoting. Socialism? Nowhere in the book does she mention socialism. It doesn't even come up anywhere. She is not promoting socialism. She is not uh, saying we have to destroy capitalism. Where the bloody anal fuck are you getting socialism?
socialism. Give all the wealth to the poor countries, even it out, do away with free market capitalism, and somehow that's going to decrease the levels of the ocean, that's going to bring ice back to the... Hey, Republicans, please, for the sake of our nation, kick some environmentalists' ass. I would like to point out here and now at this moment, given the opportunity, thank you very much, for the past 45 years, the wealth that Americans have been producing in greater and greater amounts, you know where that's been going? It hasn't been going to America. It hasn't been going to the people producing that wealth. It's been going to tiny countries offshore, such as, oh, I don't know, the Cayman Islands. Margaret Thatcher and Ronald Reagan have been redistributing Americans' wealth for decades. This is what modern capitalism has been doing. Americans work harder, longer, for less pay, and they get less amount of the wealth that they are producing. Has been happening for decades and decades. Ms. Naomi did not mention socialism. You know what happens if socialism would be applied? Americans would be keeping a hell of a lot more of the wealth that they are producing. It would not be going to these little tiny countries off America's borders. It would be staying right here in America, helping capitalism grow and thrive. Everybody would be a hell of a lot better off if they kept more of the wealth that they produced and that wealth was not redistributed elsewhere to the fabulously, fabulously wealthy people who already have a hell of a lot of wealth and they don't need more. Ms. Klein didn't mention any of that. If you're worried about wealth being redistributed away from Americans out of your personal pocket, you would not be asking the United States Republican Party to st stop doing that because they're the ones doing it. And oddly enough, so are the Democrat Party. So are many of the independents. Seriously, you are so fucking ignorant about what is happening and who is doing it. It makes me think that your video was meant as a parody of some kind. Anyhow, read the fucking book. Solutions are there. It will help America. It will increase America's wealth and health and prosperity. Meanwhile, fuck you, mister. That is the guy. What do you know about guys? You're an Amazon. All you know is shopping for bows and arrows and emasculation. I know you.